Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and today I am in my closet because we are going to be doing yet another declutter, cleaning, organizing video. You guys have been liking these videos. I've been on a roll with just like decluttering my whole entire house. So today we're doing the closet, and I actually have done a declutter my closet video in this closet um, several months ago, and I did like a giant clear out. Like I got rid of so much stuff, so I'm hoping today won't be as bad because I feel like I haven't accumulated that many more things since then but I probably have so we'll just see so yeah that video was definitely like a giant clear out so check that one out if you haven't seen that one already today I definitely want to clear out a lot more items as well because I am going to be doing a closet sale so if you've been following me for a while you know that I periodically like to do these closet sales where I just clear out my closet get rid of the stuff that's still really nice but just doesn't fit me or you know doesn't suit my vibe anymore and I sell it to you guys for rock bottom prices this sounds like a car commercial now but seriously I sell it for like five dollars ten dollars and yeah it's just a good way to clear up my closet and be able to give it to you guys but I do want to make this closet sale exclusive for you guys my followers my subscribers who are really interested in this closet sale since the items are so cheap they tend to sell out really really fast so in order for you guys to get first dibs what you're gonna want to do is sign up for for my email list that way I can email you directly and send you guys the link first before it goes public and usually by the time it even goes public all the stuff is already gone so I send you guys the link first that way you guys get first dibs straight from your email and you're able to shop before I just post the link all over my social media so if you guys want to get the link or the information for my closet sale first before anyone else look down below in the description box it will tell you how to sign up for my email list that way I can email you directly so starting off I actually already have a box sitting here that I started gathering uh, it's like overflowing I started gathering items already for my closet sale so this whole thing is already full of stuff so I think I'm just gonna go ahead real quick and show you guys what's in here because I know a lot of you guys are gonna want to see like what's actually gonna be in the sale and then we will get to like going through everything and I'm gonna go fast because I don't want this to take up too much of the video but first thing are these pink heels they have pink little pom-poms and they lace up around your leg these are size seven and a half next thing are these black heels with a furry strap around the ankle these are size seven and a half as well and then I have these silver holographic like they kind of reflect rainbow and these are seven and a half as well next up I have my American apparel high-waisted disco pants these are just high-waisted skinny uh, disco pants then I have some really nice boyfriend jeans from Zara they're distressed really nicely and also don't be alarmed if you think that you don't wear my size because I have clothes in here that are not my size which is why I'm giving them away like for example these jeans are a US size 6 UK size 10 which are too big for me these are brand new jeans from boohoo like distressed high-waisted jeans size 10 then i have some brand new stuff from fabletics if you guys saw my i think it's like a morning routine video where i was wearing these green flower leggings i have a gray really nice sports bra and a white like athletic top that goes over it i got duplicates of that stuff so that exact outfit then i have this really nice breastfeeding hoodie it's like has a little thing to where you can easily lift it up to breastfeed and it's so cozy and it's a pretty lavender color this is really cute for anybody who's breastfeeding then I have these pink jeans that I bought from Zara and then I just decided I didn't want them anymore but they're brand new uh, high-waisted pink jeans and then I have these embroidered floral high-waisted jeans from Lola Chutique they just don't really fit me so I'm giving those away then I have two red strappy um, holiday dresses this one has like straps going down your back and it's got like a square neckline like this and it's just like just above the knee and then this dress is more of a plunging V neckline with spaghetti straps and it crisscrosses in the back so your back is out and this one is above the knee as well these dresses are a little big on me because I got them in a size up because I wore them when I was pregnant but they are not maternity dresses I've got this really cute distressed denim skirt from forever 21 but it's just really big on me I've got these really really cute uh like palazzo like flare leg pants from Lola Chutique they're like high-waisted 
flowy pants with this cute leaf pattern i wish these fit me but they're too short on me like they need to be longer so i can wear them with heels and stuff but they're just too short i've got this caramel colored satin slip dress which is from the carly bible misguided collection her original collection this is just too big on me as well and then i've got this see-through kim kardashian inspired scrunchy dress which i think i honestly just forgot to put in my last closet sale but it's going in this one so yeah, those are all the things that I've already picked out that I'm definitely going to be putting in the sale. And now I'm just going to start organizing, starting over here in my jacket section. So I really just want to reorganize this by color and then also go through and see if there's anything that I want to add to the closet sale. So I'm going to start with black over here. So it's mostly already kind of organized. I have this black fluffy jacket, my black aviator jacket, which I really like. This is just my classic black leather jacket. I have another black leather jacket that has embroidery on it. And then I have this Adidas hoodie. So all these black jackets I'm definitely keeping. I also have this other DIY hoodie that I did. I have a video for it, the lace up on my channel. Then after black, I'm actually gonna go into like denim and blue. So I have this oversized denim jacket from Boohoo, which I really like. Then I have a regular denim jacket from Guess. So that goes right there. Leather looking jacket with embroidery. I love this jacket from ASOS. And then now I guess we'll go into mint green. So I have my mint green, um, what is this called? Like felt? I don't know what this is called type of uh, moto jacket. I got that from ASOS like a long time ago and I still love it. Then I have a mint green like duster long trench coat from Forever 21. And then ugh, this is the one that I'm torn about because this is just so pretty to me like to look at. It's like a mint green turquoise with like a pink and blue floral on it. It's a vintage blazer and it's like oversized on me. I've only ever worn this like once. I haven't worn it in like seven years. <laughs> I think it's been like seven years since I've actually worn this, but I just can't get rid of it because it's so pretty and it's vintage and like when are you ever going to find anything like this again? And also it was given to me um, or like given or sold to me by like a subscriber. And I just have this mint green oversized hoodie from Forever 21, but it's inside out so that's bothering me. So I need to turn it the right way. So there's that hoodie that'll go right here. And then now after mint green, I guess I'll go into green. So I have only two green jackets in here. I have a legit army jacket that's like from the thrift store. It has patches on it and everything. And I painted on the back of it. It says now or never on the back. So I'm definitely keeping that. And then I have this little thin, like, um, I don't know what you call this type of little thin jacket, but it's kind of army inspired. It's like an olive green. I don't know. I, I always look at this and I'm like, oh, that's really cute, but I haven't really worn it. I don't know why I never wear this, but it's cute. I feel like I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer because I need to wear this. And I know I'm not really going in actual rainbow order, but this is just the order that makes sense in my mind. So now I'm gonna do like brown after green. So I have this, which is a newer purchase from Misguided. It still has the tag on it, even though I already wore it. It is like a blazer jacket, like a really nice thick little thing. And I like that, so keeping that. And I have two more brown things over here. This is a little blazer from H&M. This is actually really old, but this is like my go-to when for some reason I need to look business casual, which is very rare. So I don't have that many like types of clothes like that, but if I need to look a little bit professional, I always like wear this with like a little button up underneath it or something. And then this, a lot of my jackets still have the tags on them because I don't know why, even though I've worn them several times, I guess because I don't really like wash them. So I never end up taking the tag off, but I've definitely worn this. This is by Guess. It's a little like faux sheer, I think it's faux. Okay, so now going into like the orange and pink and red, I'm going to do this coat. Well, do I want this or do I want to sell it? This is another coat that I never, really wear 
Mm, it's really cute. It's like a little trench. It's very flowy. It's long. It's like a light beige-ish, pinkish color. I think I'm gonna keep this one because this is more still kind of my vibe, but I'm gonna get rid of this one, which is more of a true bubblegum pink color. Similar type style, trench coat type style, long trench coat, but I just can't really see myself wearing this pink thing anymore so I'm gonna keep this more toned down one and I'm gonna put this pink one in the closet sale and then this orange trench coat is newer it's really nice quality has a lot of cute little details on it so I'm gonna keep that and then we've got my maroon bomber jacket with um, lace-up details on the sleeve this is from naked in a K D then I have this little athletic little thin windbreaker it's from fabletics and it's a really cute like salmon color has a hood on it this is just like to wear to the gym or whatever what gym so i'm gonna get rid of this and then i have this pink uh moto jacket why can i not think of what this freaking fabric is supposed to be suede suede faux suede um so this one is faux suede i have a mint green one and I have uh, the brown one, and then this is also faux suede pink moto jacket. I really like that. So I'm going to put this one over here, I think, like that. The gray section, I just have these two. This is just a distressed little cropped hoodie. And I definitely, I have like matching jogger pants that go with this, so I'm going to keep that. Oh, I forgot a brown. This is, um... A satin bomber jacket also from the Carly Bible misguided collection it's like a long bomber jacket with lace-ups on the sleeve and I like this one even though the matching dress didn't fit me so I put it in the closet sale then I have this really oversized it's like a mix between a bomber jacket and a trench coat because it's really long like down to your knees but it has like the bomber jacket type stretchy sleeve cuff thing and the bomber jacket collar and it zips up it's gray. I just really haven't ever found a way to actually wear this or style this. It's from Boohoo, so I'm going to give it away. It's size medium slash large. Then for the whites, I have two white jackets. I have a white faux leather moto jacket, which is so old, you guys. This is from Wet Seal, like years ago. But I don't know. I actually, I think I feel like I actually wore this recently. I just like having different colors of moto jackets because moto jackets, I feel like they don't go out of style. This is another thing that I just keep even though I don't wear it I just keep it for the memories because it's from when I used to work at BCBG and this is like my first thing that I got with my employee discount it was like really expensive like probably like a $200 blazer originally but I got it for like $50 or something and I just felt so legit and fancy when I wore this to work and stuff so I just hang on to it even though I haven't worn it in ages and it's like this white lace I don't really know if I could see myself wearing like white lace anymore these days but I am sweating y'all okay but moving on back here I just have two like little fur vests a little denim vest and these two little like sweatshirt things these don't really need to be hanging up over here these are like little cropped sweatshirts this is like a sweatshirt i got from the thrift store that i cut this is a sweatshirt that i ordered with my logo on it and my name on it in the back that i also cut okay and this i need to get rid of this is a thrift store find it's like a giant men's denim shirt that has the sleeves cut off so it's all raw over here and i actually bought this for my boyfriend at the time i thought he would wear it but he didn't like it so i was like i'll keep it and i'll wear it oversized but like no it's like huge so i'm gonna put this in the closet sale and then i just have these two fur vests i have a well they're faux but i have a black one and one that has pink on the inside and like brown on the outside so i do like to layer with these when it gets colder so i keep these in the back so this is what that looks like now nice and organized and color coded moving over here to my dresses and long hanging area because it goes all the way down um, i have a huge black section 
of just black dresses and whatnot and then it's still kind of color coded i have the gray and the brown and then i have a random red and then it goes to black again and then you got all messed up right there and i think there's definitely some stuff in here that i can get rid of that i should have gotten rid of the last time i did a closet declutter but i was being a hoarder so now we need to be a little bit more strict first things first <laughs> You guys yelled at me in my last closet video for not getting rid of this, but it just, uh, why? I know I don't wear it and I'm never going to wear it, but it just looks so cool. Like, I just want to, like, keep it for a backdrop, but it's not big enough for an actual backdrop. Okay, I need to get rid of this. Somebody else will actually wear it. It says bonjour. Okay, it's going in the closet sale. It's going, okay? I'm sorry, it's going. Another thing I need to get rid of is this white dress right here. I think I've worn it enough times. I don't see myself wearing it again. It's really nice though. It has a white slip underneath and then it has like this textured stuff over it cute little above the knee dress so that's going in the closet sale another lacy dress that just isn't as flattering on my body type I feel like it's a it's like a midi link so it hits you like right in your calf area it's not maxi on me and it's not short enough on me it's just like a weird length because I'm so tall if you're shorter this would look really pretty on you I feel like it's a see-through lace red dress really nice unfortunately I don't know what happened to the matching slip that went underneath it but you can wear like any type of slip so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the closet sale as well I have these two dresses these are the same dress in different colors this one's like in a maroon purpley burgundy color it's a short baby doll dress with bell sleeves lace and it has the matching slip underneath it and the white cream version of the same dress this is really cute in white I feel like I feel like I like it more in white because it's just more like boho looking like you would wear it to like a bridal shower party or something I don't know like I can see myself actually wearing this one over wearing this one so I'm gonna put this one in the closet sale and I'm gonna go ahead and start fixing this so I have this red dress that's not in the right spot I have these black things that need to go over here is there anything in this black section that I really need to get rid of? Let's see. No, I mean, honestly, the black stuff is like my most worn stuff in my closet. And I feel like I've already gone through this pretty good. As well as gray. I love black and gray and white. So I love neutrals, basically. So the gray stuff is still good. The nude stuff is still good. White stuff. I have some two more little white things. I use these like for uh, pool cover-ups. We have green, I have a little green thing, green dress. This should be moved over here. I haven't gotten a chance to wear this, but I really want to wear this. This is from Boohoo. It's like a t-shirt dress with the v-neck. Green section, I feel, doesn't need to be right here. Oh, another white. This is a white shirt dress. Another thing that I just... I mean, I guess because it's been cold, I haven't gotten to come back around to my more spring pieces yet, but I guess we're about to get there now. Then moving on to pink stuff, I have my pink Adidas t-shirt dress, which I haven't gotten a chance to wear either because it hasn't been warm enough. Another pink dress. Uh, pink. Mm. This dress, I feel like I, I really like it. It's really pretty. I love the fabric. It was in one of my fall lookbook videos but I just feel like I'm never gonna have the opportunity to actually wear this like when am I gonna wear this and I feel like by the time that I do have an opportunity or an occasion to wear this I'm not gonna want to wear it you know so I feel like I should sell it it still has the tag on it it's from chic wish got some more black and gray stuff right here which needs to move my black pajama dress which I love and then just a black classic v-neck dress, maxi dress. Put that right there. Then I have a gray turtleneck dress, also very classic. So put that in the gray section. Oversized hoodie that I got from the men's section in Forever 21, but I use it as like a hoodie dress. And then another, oh, this has a stain on it. I, for, I think this is actually spray paint gold spray paint somehow got on I don't I doubt I was spray painting wearing this like if I did that I'm stupid but 
this looks like it has gold spray paint like slightly slightly because i remember i couldn't get the stain out but i really like this dress because it's really cool it has like these extra it looks like an alien dress because it has extra sleeves like these are the actual sleeves and then it has extra sleeves coming from the hips but it's because you're supposed to tie it like this so it looks like you have another thing tied around your waist but you really don't it's just a really cool unique dress i love the color i love the fabric but it's freaking stained i don't know i guess i'll put it in the closet sale and if anybody really wants it and thinks that they can you know either not care about the stain or get the stain out then maybe somebody will buy it but just so you know it has a stain on it and i will be putting that in the description this is a plaid shirt dress and then we go into denim i have two denim shirt dresses but they're different because this one is not distressed at all and this one is very distressed so they're different okay i'm gonna put this this is a really cute romper that i definitely will be wearing this spring i'll put that in the front like that then i have my denim overalls <sighs> we meet again this freaking dress that i had trouble with in my last closet declutter i was like i know i'm not gonna wear this and it doesn't even really fit me but i just love it so much it's a for love and lemons knockoff. <laughs> I just love it so much. I guess, you know what I should do though? You know what I should do? I should sell this and I should treat myself to the to a real one that actually fits me. I don't know if they still sell this style, but I'm gonna check. And if they do, I'm gonna get myself a real one and I'm gonna sell this one. That's what I'm gonna do. Then I have my satin trench. I'm definitely keeping that. I feel like I don't get to keep this one because I don't ever really reach for this one because I don't know, usually when I wear a cardigan, like I actually want it to keep me a little bit warm. Like that's why I'm wearing it. So this one definitely doesn't keep you warm. It's just more for style. It's just a cute little black knitted cardigan. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, so here is this little finished section. We've got all my black stuff going into gray, going into nude, then white, then pink, then red, then blue, then green. And again, the color order doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense to me. And I feel like this section right here, my hanging tops section, because I have all of my little crop tops and little t-shirts and stuff that doesn't really need to be hung up i have it down here in my drawer so these are more of like my nicer tops i guess kind of and i feel like i barely wear any of these so this section right here is actually still pretty organized um it's like my tank top section and my bodysuit like tank top bodysuit type stuff these are things that i wear like on special occasions when i do go out like to the club and stuff like that and sometimes i wear them just to wear for a video so even though i don't wear them often like i do wear them but these two bodysuits i feel like i can get rid of just because this one i just don't really reach for it it's just like i don't know but this one is actually really cute but it just doesn't really um fit me it's like pretty dang tight and uncomfortable so i'm gonna get rid of this even though it is really really cute so keep an eye out for this one in the closet sale as well as this one but the rest of my bodysuits back here I actually have them like all on one hanger like maroon black metallic like I do wear those when I go out then I have some t-shirt things I do wear these I have my Adidas shirt right here I have these which are just more like sleeveless um, cropped summer tops like this yellow one this denim one this white striped one which I actually really like but it's just yeah I haven't gotten back around to the summer season yet to wear them but I will wear them so these ones I definitely will wear all these crop tops crop tops um then we get into like regular long sleeve stuff okay but wait this stuff is not in color order so how do I want to do this I feel like I don't have enough stuff in each section to actually put it in color order which is kind of annoying like I have all my body suits together but I only have one of each color, so it's just kind of like random. And then same with like these t-shirts right here. And then all of these are all different colors. So I feel like the color order thing can't really apply over here. Because I don't want to like mix up all of my, like put all the black stuff together. But then it's going to be all mixed up between like long sleeve, short sleeve, crop top. And it's going to be like annoying. So I'd rather just keep it separated by type over here rather than by color. This goes over here because I have this shirt in two colors. I have it in black and white from Boohoo. Then we got some denim shirts. I have a light wash one, 
medium wash and medium wash that has words on it this light wash one is a vintage one um, it's actually really cute I like this it's from Gap but it just doesn't have the best fit on me it's like a little bit too small so I honestly need to get rid of this one this thing I loved it I wore it once and then I made the mistake of putting it in the dryer and it shrunk into like a whole different top like it's still cute it's just now it's like this is like a smaller version of what it originally was like it's a lot more cropped in the front now and the sleeves kind of I feel like shrunk up into more of like a short sleeve almost like I swear to you this was a long sleeve like regular in the front long in the back now it's cropped in the front and short sleeve like I, I swear it literally shrunk into a whole different top so I mean it's still totally like wearable it's just not what I ordered <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna uh, put this in the closet sale I'm gonna get rid of this denim sweatshirt thing as well this I'm keeping this I saw it on the website it looked really cute on the model and then when I got it I was like it sort of looks like a blush pink Bigfoot I haven't like put it on and tried to style it or tried to wear it yet but I'm just kind of on the fence about it so I don't know it might end up in the closet so I'm gonna put it back up here for now but I'm gonna think about it and yeah I mean this section was pretty boring I got rid of a few things but it looks ugly because it doesn't have a good like organization theme to it but I just don't really know how to organize it because I just have like one of each thing so you can't really like group them up or anything ah but I forgot that I have extra clothes down here that are in the wrong place this section is supposed to be reserved for my jeans but I have my jeans all scrunched up over here and I don't know oh the rest of my jeans are over here they need to be hung up all this stuff I just shoved it right here because I didn't feel like putting it where it goes but these are like sweaters and jackets and stuff that need to be put on right here or right here so I'm just gonna start taking handfuls of stuff from down there and adding it to wherever it goes this white sweater it's similar to that pink one it has bell sleeves but this one is cropped so this one goes back here and then I have this faux shearling jacket it's kind of similar to one that I showed over here but it is different I've got this velvet blazer dress from the new Carly Bible misguided collection I haven't gotten a chance to wear this yet, but I really want to wear it. I've got this really comfy soft gray cardigan with little fur pockets that actually matches a top that Zaya has and this is from Target. Next chunk of stuff, this is a newer purchase. It's from Zara. It's a really nice oversized giant turtleneck black sweater. I got this for my trip to New York recently. I love this. I also got this for my trip to New York. It is the black dress. It's an off the shoulder button up dress from Forever 21. Also from Forever 21, also for the New York trip, is this red sweatshirt that says girls over it. This is really comfy and really cute. So this will go, does this go in the jacket section or the sweater section? I guess sweater. Definitely for the jacket section, two recent purchases. Both of these are from Boohoo, my red fluffy aviator jacket. Love this and my pink fluffy long jacket I love this so this will go over here in the pink and red section for someone that lives in Texas I don't know why my jacket section is like the most full diverse like nice section of my closet like why do I have so many different jackets in every color when I only get like three days out of the year to even wear the freaking thing all right so next little chunk from down there I have my pink oversized adidas hoodie I got this from the men's section at PacSun I think I love it I wear it all the time I have two camel sweaters from H&M but they are really different from each other then I've got this really nice soft oversized sweater from Anthropology. it's just a really nice high quality soft comfy sweater and we have yet another camo sweater but I'm going to put this one in the closet sale just because I don't like the way that it fits me after all like I put it on two times recently like oh I'm gonna wear this and then every time I put it on I'm like I don't know what's wrong with it but something about it just looks wrong on my body so I'm going to give it away I think it's because it's like slightly too small got this crew neck from boohoo it's really cool and I've got this champion crew neck it's just a regular 
maroon champion crew neck this is also a newer purchase we have a maroon cropped hoodie that matches with some jogger pants that i have from boohoo i have this really nice zara sweater it's like a fluffy material it's kind of oversized and a really nice gray color i also got this for my trip to new york and i love it zara makes really good like basic classic pieces like if you just want like a classic sweater a classic leather jacket a classic pair of jeans like i feel like they make really good stuff these are from boohoo boohoo makes really good like little thin basic cheap pieces like this so i have a white bodysuit and a black one next i have this red turtleneck sweater which i specifically purchased um the day before our christmas eve party last year because i wanted to wear something festive i got this at target it's like a tight turtleneck sweater i mean cute in theory especially if you're wearing it for christmas but i looked back at the vlog of me wearing this and i felt like i looked so ridiculous i don't know if it was like the combination of like the pants that i wore with it or the way i have my hair or if it was just this thing i mean i feel like it's just a red turtle like like i don't know why it looks stupid on me but i think i'm gonna get rid of it and then this is a little two-piece set which i haven't gotten to wear yet it's like high waist it's like the kylie jenner set like high-waisted leggings with the little off the shoulder long sleeve top so i actually have a section down here for little matching things like this okay so now taking you down below my tops down to where like my pants and skirts are my jeans are over here on the other side my jean collection is not very exciting i don't have that many pairs um and i've already kind of recently gone through them so they're just folded up over here all i need to do is actually put them back on the hangers and hang them up over there so that's kind of boring i'm just going to skip over that so in the front i like to keep my little matching sets that are like nicer little matching sets that i just want to keep together in my closet rather than having the pants in one section and the top that goes with it in another section i typically just hang them on the same hanger so they can be together so i have that gray one that i just showed you the kylie jenner one i have this striped really unique like skirt with a matching sweater which is from chic wish which goes right here then i have this satin tracksuit from fashion nova it's a really popular outfit from fashion nova it's like a little jacket and jogger pants and then this um striped outfit from i forgot where this is from then we move into the pants so these are a recent purchase from zara also for my trip to new york they are plaid leggings with uh like a stripe going down the side these are really cute i love these then i have my camo pants then i have my pink barbie disco pants they're flare leg high-waisted pants from daisha's shop then i have these two pairs of pants which are super old i've been hanging on to them for far too long i don't typically wear them that much because they just I don't know they don't have the best fit these are like some flare leg stretchy pants but they do not fit me around the waist i like these because they're actually long which is very hard to find in these like long flare leg pants but they're like too big around the waist and i keep saying i'm gonna take them in on the waist but they've like they've seen their day so i'm gonna get rid of those and try to find a replacement or actually i've been thinking about making my own not like to sell or anything calm down but like just making a pair of flare leg pants for myself because there's so many cute styles out there but they're never long enough for me and these are just like some green cargo pants like they're a drawstring waist and they're tight around the ankles really cute but they just are a little bit too small for me so I think I can get rid of these. These pants have seen their day and I know that they're ripped so they honestly need to be like trash. These pants don't fit me. They're like supposed to be my business casual white slacks um, but they don't fit me because they just like they have that problem where it's just like big around the waist but then like you know what i mean like tall slim girl problems. I have this red plaid skirt which i've been hanging on to for far too long. It's a pencil skirt. I haven't ever worn it so i'm gonna put that in the closet sale this is my metallic booty skirt from forever 21 which i love i also have this adidas little mini skirt with the stripes on the side which i love i'm definitely going to be wearing these skirts again this um this summer this denim skirt on the other hand i know it doesn't fit me 
think I was just hanging on to it because like it's cute with the rose on it and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll take it in on the side so it'll fit me. I'm not gonna take it in on the sides. Why do I always tell myself that and then I never do it and then it just hangs in my closet. I need to just get stuff that fits me in the first place. So this is really cute. It's from Fashion Nova, I think, yeah. It's been worn like once, barely, like for a photo. So I'm gonna give that away. And then I've got this tutu type skirt, which I'm honestly just keeping because I think for Zaya's birthday, like I'm not gonna do a big party or anything, but I think I'm gonna do like some sort of like unicorn something. And I dressed up for her birthday last year, so I might wear this as like my outfit for her birthday party. And then after that, I'll probably give it away. Whew. Okay guys, I am sweating, but that is pretty much everything. I'm not gonna take you through what's down here in these drawers, cause that's just like, t-shirts and little pajama shorts and sweatpants and leggings like boring stuff like that that's not like I'm not gonna be selling that stuff to you guys or anything so that's honestly good like I said I just need to hang my jeans up that's good my shoes I already recently went through and like I said I put a few shoes in the closet sale there might be a few more shoes that I decide to sell but you guys will see that like I said if you sign up for the email you guys are gonna get first dibs on everything that's gonna be on there and again just definitely check out the description box down below for information about the closet sale and when it's gonna be and how you can sign up for the email and all that stuff but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it satisfying now that all my stuff is like color-coded over here this is still bothering me I don't if you guys have suggestions for how to make this part look better, then please let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.